Vet Dr. Sandy Norman joins us with Help for Pet Owners. Today, we're talking about cats and a problem they share. Sandy, cats can actually hide diseases, and yeah. this is going to be a big issue. It's a huge issue because, you know, cats don't run up to the door frequently and greet you, so you don't see them a lot. They hide, and so because they sleep 14 to 20 hours a day, and we don't see all the time, a lot of times they're ill and we don't know it because they hide their illnesses very well. So what should we be looking for? Obviously any changes in behaviors that we notice, yeah. but this is something where your veterinarian comes in. That once a year visit can yeah. check those things. That's very critical. Go in once a year because when a veterinarian, you know, who keeps a record from the year before can come in and say, oh, they lost weight. Oh, they look different. Oh, their eyes look different because they can compare them. So it's very important that they get an annual checkup and appropriate vaccinations and testing or whatever it is that they need once a year. So that's very critical. The second thing that's really important is the owner, you know, you know your cat. You know, my cat jumps up on the dresser and looks at me, you know, when I put my makeup on in the morning, or my cat does this. So if your cat stops doing that, that's a clue that something's wrong because they're very routine animals. They like to do the same thing every day. They like their food at the same time, everything in the same place. So be very cognizant because, like I said, they're not as visible as your dog is. Also, eating less is a big trigger that something may not be okay. Yeah, it's huge because a lot of people just feed dry food. So you need to be very careful. Like you fill up the bowl and you go back and the bowl's still full. Oh, there's something wrong there because I fill up the bowl every day and I'm used to filling up the bowl every day. So why are they not eating? So you have to watch for those little tiny clues. And then it's really important that you get them to the veterinarian when you see that. Because the problem we have with cats is cats end up at the veterinarian and there's a less than great outcome because we get them there too late. Tell me a little bit about the cat that we have available for adoption today. This is Kellen. Kellen. Kellen's a one-year-old neutered male. Isn't he cute? He purrs all the time. Kathy said he purrs all the time. <laughs> He's an FIV positive cat. That, does, that actually makes him a great pet for a one-cat household. But he looks great. He needs canned food to kind of keep his hair coat. He's got one of those nice, pretty hair coat. He's got that gray-blue coat. It's just really pretty. So if you can give Kellen or one of his friends a home, call the Humane Society in Minneapolis. Right. A big talker there. Yes, he is. All right, thank you so much for stopping by, Sandy. We appreciate it. We'll see you next Monday. Thanks.